Hello and welcome to the third in the series Group SFT Tapping event. This one is entitled Exposing the NRA. It is a topic that is of significant interest to a large proportion of the population and it will be contentious to a small demographic or a, well, well I guess it's a pretty significant demographic, at least in America. I'm Arvind Schneider. And I'm Jen Ward. And I'm... Um... Happy that you're going to let me take the reins on this one a little bit, babies, and and um, share a little bit of background story with these taps. <clears throat> this is a uh, topic that you are passionately interested in. I think there are a lot of people, at least on the thoughtful end of the spectrum, that are passionately interested um, broadly on the gun topic, but particularly we're dealing with the NRA at the moment. Okay, people. So there's a lot of information I get in energy that Marvin isn't really comfortable with me sharing because it's so out there. And, but the thing is that the things I get in energy are years and years before their time, like current events. Nobody, nobody like 10, eight years ago could have fathomed that we were at this breaking point and like worrying about democracy being ended. I saw it way back then. And that's why the adepts have given me the SFT tapping protocol so I can teach everyone a means of taking back their empowerment and not giving their energy to the nefarious factions by default because everything out here is tainted. The media, the politics, even the Supreme Court, your friends are not um, privy to truth. So the information that I've been sitting on is pretty important, but we didn't want to rock the boat. Now, the other night, we knew we were going to do a third night of tabs to coincide with the uh, Republican National Convention. And I was like really tired. We had done two days of it. The happening is like two hours and then feeling the ramifications of that going out. It's a lot of energy. I've been like, I've been like building my stamina to do this and I'm exhausted. Marvin's exhausted. You guys are all exhausted on this call. But, but the night the night before last, I woke up in bed wide awake and got a download from the adepts. Now, the adepts are the spirit guides that I am tuned into. They've basically propped me up to do this work. And um, they don't have a personality. Like, they don't want their personality to be known because they don't want it to be about the ego. So the adults just helped me and they downloaded a whole bunch of taps for me to write out for us to do. Now, the thing is, is that the task we're doing is tapping onto a truth that I've always known, but it went even further. And I was revealing to myself things that I didn't really understand at the surface, but it makes so much sense. And it will make sense to you guys once we do that. And the, the whole thing is that the NRA has been kept larger than life, like it's invincible. So all these tabs are based on the premise that the NRA is, um, what's that word, babies? Um, a syndicate, a syndicate. But uh, Marvin says that a syndicate is a um, illegal, you know, mob family. But this is a, a a legal syndicate working right in front of us. It's a mob faction, and the headpin, the headpin is Putin. He's infiltrated the American justice system through through blackmailing and bribing. The Republicans has some, that's why you see Republicans who hate Trump bowing to his feet now. The thing is, they're not afraid of Trump. They're afraid of Putin. And as, and if Putin gets, if Trump gets moved out of the way, Putin is fine with um, J.D. Vance moving in and being his kingpin for America. So, <laughs> And all this sounds like crazy, crazy talk. But it doesn't really if you've been dealing with what we've been seeing in current events and um, Project 
2025 and all that. Now, the thing about me and Marvin is we don't have much of a presence out there. We've been working our ass of, to like, you know, make it known what we're talking about, but it's been shrouded as a form of protection for this truth until it's ready to be revealed. Now, I think a lot of people in the government and a lot of people in the media know about this, but they can't talk about it because it's their livelihood. The great thing about me and Marvin is we, our livelihood isn't dependent on anybody else. We make our, um, we make our living out of a handful of private sessions that I do, and that's it. So if you guys want to support us, book a private session. But you know we're not betrothed to any corporate media or those holding the purse strings to corporate media. So. The adepts told me, you know, I'm arguing with the adepts when I'm writing these tips. I go, Marvin's not going to let me say these. We look like crackpots. And the adepts are saying, oh, no, you're saying this. This is what we've been leading up to. And this is what you need to put out there. So once we put it out there in energy, everyone will be able to grab onto it. We're breaking the constructs of this um, silence. You know, and I think. I think it's an undercurrent that everybody's feeling, but no one can breach because they have no one speaking that truth. So this is us just cracking the nut open. Very difficult to add any more <laughs> to what you've already said. That was actually a very clear articulation of the underlying premise and foundation of the event that we're doing here today. So thank you very much for doing that. Thank you. Um, so here's the thing is that there are even in corporate media and some of the media outlets that are not quite beholden to the corporate dollars have at various times echoed and reverberated some of the themes that we're going to be exposing today, but not in a particularly concentrated way. So it's a little bit like there's a suggestion that there's Russian influence within you know, American politics. Um, and, and so there's always, you know, some suggestion that there's dark money being funneled through lobbyists and those are then being used to influence people in positions of power. But it's never been tied together. And I don't know why that is. Either, either the corporate media and those that are trying to expose elements aren't really able to do it in a concentrated way or they don't have the full picture but in any case what we're doing here today as you said jen is we're going to be putting all of those pieces together and the thing is you're quite right we are not beholden to any um you know uh funding source that will uh stop us from talking about these things right and the beauty of it is once it's out there in the um, collective it's out there you know, we only have a handful of people watching these um, videos. And by the way, Marvin was just mentioning the subscribers that we have are unsubscribed, but I'm not sure that they are. I'm sure if anyone has subscribed to us, can you go back and check to make sure that you are still subscribed? Because I think that's part of a, a play, because I've seen it with other people who, who share truth, is they lose subscribers without for no reason. So just make sure if you subscribed that you're still subscribed to us. And if you're not, please subscribe to us and share what we do here because you have an opportunity here. You have an opportunity. Either you think I'm batshit crazy or, and even if you do, there's a, some relief that comes to this. You know, a lot of inspiration and genius comes through people who are batshit crazy. So get over it whatever you think of me, and still try the taps to just shut them down as um, con conjecture, is that the word? To just shut them down as conjecture is you being trapped on the fence, right? And it, it, it makes sense because everything around us is showing us that this is not true, but in our core, through our inner compass, we can feel the trajectory loom into an oppressive state that we want to interrupt. And this is our intention to do that. 
So a lot of people don't realize consciously that what we're seeing now is a huge pivotal point between old consciousness and awakening, mass awakening. And this is what has been played out in the um, visionaries who wrote the book of Revelations. Now, I'm, I see a lot of things in energy. I, I get a lot of prophetic information. And let me tell you, when you get that, when you get the information, it's not, it's not clear all the time what you're getting. You get little pieces and bits of it, but you don't have the reference point to put it together. Like in the day that, that the visionary who got the book of Revelations of what's going on right now didn't understand the ramifications, like the number 666, that's very clear in the book of Revelations. Well, that's um, Jared Kushner's address in New York was 666. And people don't understand that that's, a, they thought it was like a coincidence, but that's an actual reference that the visionary back in that time was getting of the present time, just to stamp it as this accurate time of what we're dealing with. So the whole thing of the eight-headed beast or whatever, um, I actually put out tabs like six to six to eight years ago on the book of Revelations because I saw what was happening right now with the autocrats, the, the powerful autocrats of the time were trying to synergize and break up the free world and um, take, take pieces of it. So we did tabs on breaking up the synergy between the dictators, the autocrats, and and cutting off the heads of the beast. So that was six and eight years ago. Now in, in social media, you'll see little references to the book of Revelations, but it's accurate. And what we're seeing now with the MAGA, thinking that Donald is the, the savior, they're actually, actually being um, drawn into the Antichrist, and they don't see that. So it's really kind of literal, but not. All right, there's a lot to contemplate in that. Um, I think that what you just said will uh, pique a lot of people's interest. Um, it will be a little bit confronting to some people, but that's okay because it's really when you're confronted and you're you know hitting the forehead that it gives you the opportunity to go, hey, whoa, whoa, wait, and just gives you a moment of pause and then reflection for those that are at least thoughtful. Um, so uh, why don't we do this, Jen? Uh, we've got a whole bunch of SFT taps directed mm -hmm. at exposing the NRA, and you'll get to see through the taps the nuances. And we'll do some commentary uh, as we go through the taps uh, at various times. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Just I want to say one more thing. It's it's really important. We were watching John Stewart yesterday, and he was talking about current events, and he and he was a tr correlating it with um, nine eleven, how there were some heroes, everyone else was running away from nine eleven, and the heroes were running to it, and I got like really feeling good inside because because you and I doing these tasks were the heroes running into the situation to make it better for all of humanity and to, to shutting something down. Now, when you get these feelings of fear, it's a psychic attack on you to try to stop you from doing what we're doing right now. It's just shadows. You are safe and protected in doing this work, so just keep going, all right? It's important. Baby. Actually, that, that's actually a really good point. So uh, a lot of people, the silent majority, are shit scared of saying anything about the NRA and anything about those that are Second Amendment zealots, specifically because it is so ingrained, the NRA and its tentacles are everywhere that they really don't feel comfortable in speaking up. But we're speaking up here, and what you've just said, Jen, is really important, is that you have an opportunity to do these taps in the comfort and safety of your own home 
knowing that in energy you are protected because Jen, you are a badass in energy. And you know, the nefarious energies and poltergeists and any, you know, anything else that you know is fearful that you can conjure up in your own mind, uh, they're actually scared of you. So there's Yeah, that. actually. Yeah. So I've been tested for lifetimes to do this work. And uh, the adepts have kept me alive many single, many different times just to get me to this point. They've they've propped Marvin up many different times to get him to the point of us being together. And this this has been a work in progress for the adepts for a long, long time. So yeah. Feel it in your own. Don't take our word for it. Feel it in your own beingness, how important this is. Can I just say this, Jen, that um you know, organizations like the NRA and any other shadowy organizations that have secret agendas, they hate having the spotlight put on them. And so when you bring these things to public attention and expose it to the, uh, the light of truth, they will scurry and go underground because they cannot stand um, the spotlight being put on them. And one of the reasons why they've been pervasive is because no one up until now has been willing to actually shine the light on them through the full extent of their nefarious activities. And today is the day that the NRA is uh, like a rabbit caught in the headlights and exposed probably in the, in the ways that they have tried so desperately not to be. Absolutely. And in, in writing these taps, I kept getting I kept getting fearful thoughts like Putin's going to kill you. He's going to take care of you like he did Nivaldi, right? And so I'm thinking about it, and, and I know better not to react in fear. Oh, I know better. So basically what I said to those energies was, so what? So I lose this physical life. It'll be out there and things will be taken care of. So the freak what? And then all the energy dissipated because fear is only, fear feeds on your reaction to it. If you don't react, it can't feed on you. So in my head is playing out this narrative and it's all the incumbents and those people with some information um, dismissing what we're doing here because it's very na naive. And it's true, it is naive, but this is the vantage point that I was given I need to be this naive and not knowing how the government runs and all this stuff to do this work. Otherwise, the, the mental the men, mental process would get in the way and it wouldn't get done. So yeah, I'm the naive, but that's part of the package. Um, so here's the thing. A lot of people are probably looking at this and going, you look weird, you, you sound weird, you talk weird. And um, the unfortunate, well, the inconvenient reality is that um, real advocates of truth aren't usually the, you know, the chisel jawed put together, you know, well, the whole package. And so it is what it is. And nevertheless, um, here is where truth is being uh, offered. So uh, get over yourself, get on board. This is where the work is happening. It's called hiding in plain sight, people. Look it up. Jen, you should tell us what you really think. And the other thing that I'd say about this is, you know, using these harsh terms, ignorant, manipulated, brainwashed. Um, I think you've used the term uh, inbred uh, every now and then. These are harsh terms that are being used as a scalpel to, to pierce through stagnant energy and to shake it up. And um, so it's not a uh, gratuitous invitation to throw, you know, hate-filled rhetoric. It's not like that at all. Uh, it is used deliberately and targeted because this work is uh, permeating in energy and these kinds of vibrations are necessary to penetrate stagnant energy. Absolutely. I'm glad you said that, babies. People who are like into energy work 
will look at what I'm wearing and they'll say, oh, she she's wearing black, so she can't be a good because she's wearing black. I intentionally wore black and red people. Red is the color of MAGA and um, communist, right? And black is the color supposedly of evil. So we're taking back the vibrations of those light bands for all of humanity. And by the way, anyone who has studied color, black is not an absence of color. Black is the compilation of all the colors together. So, so it is a beautiful array that's being used in a wrong way. So in the 80s, it was Charlton Heston who used his persona to um, embolden the NRA and, and say in that statement, you, can, you can't have, if you want my gun, pull it out of my cold, dead hands. Well, we're happy to pull it out of your cold, dead energy. Let's just pull it this. Let's just say Actually, that. That's a, that, <laughs> that's a better reflection of that sentiment, uh, the cold, dead energy. And the other thought that I had as we're, as we're doing these taps is as much as lots and lots of people have tried to deal with the NRA and just have hit a brick wall, wouldn't it be really interesting as, is as a result of us doing this ta these taps in a very short amount of time, there is this uh, avalanche of energy and will to dismantle the NRA and to bring about gun regulation that has been attempted over, you tell me how many decades. I'm, as a non-American, yeah. it's just, you know, the history of this just gets a little bit beyond me. But wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be interesting if now that we've done these taps, all of a sudden there's this avalanche of attention and energy and it finally gets done? Well, you say you don't perceive an energy, but you're seeing exactly what I see. And there's a spiritual principle of as above, so below. So we're doing these, these intentions and energy and they filter down to the physical. And people may never realize the work that's been done to dismantle them. It may come through a groundswelling. Now, what, what happens if when Biden wins the presidency, when the de Democrats win the presidency in both houses, all these legislations for the, um, the NRA just disappear? So this can happen really, really quickly. I just want to make this one point, and that is that for the international audience tuning in, those last three or four taps about, you know, America thriving with a clear path forward to higher consciousness and a democratic America being centred and empowered and thriving in higher consciousness. It's not just America. Right. Um, you know, our mandate is for all of humanity uh, to thrive in higher consciousness. Uh, the only thing is that right now, at this point in time, there is a there is a concerted assault on these things in America. And so because America, by all accounts, and you know, is one of the most powerful nations on earth, it is kind of important that America gets its shit together as a way shower for all peoples all around the world. And so that's at least from my perspective as a non-American, that's why it's important that uh, these taps are going out and we do protect America uh, on behalf of all peoples because at the end of the day, we are all citizens of the world and it's not the interests of America first that's important. Um, it's uh, the provenance of all people that's important. And, right, good. you know, and and I'm not sure a lot of Americans really appreciate uh, that the importance of that point because there is a lot of America first rhetoric that's going on on both sides of the aisle, and I understand it because they need to they need to rally their base in order to get elected in order to do important things. So I kind of get that, but um, seriously, folks. <laughs> This America first rhetoric is getting kind of old because there are um, seven and a half odd billion people that are not American, that are 100% uh, impacted by everything that goes on in America.
Well, yes. And the, the whole, let me tell you the reference point that I wrote those from, is we do the concentrated, I mean, there's a laser beam on all of humanity to have left. But right now you got Putin, you got Xi, you got this dirtbag in Turkey, I guess. And um, all these dictators look into America, they're waiting for Donald Trump to get in power so they can dismantle, they can like move into Europe and take down all those little countries. So this is kind of important. So we're concentrated on this. This is not the time to like, you know, worry about um, worrying about, you know, not being politically correct to the whole world. We know what we're dealing with. We're like here for all of humanity. And this is the battle at hand right now. We take care of this little nut and then the rest will, will follow. If you like this content and you appreciate the work that we're doing to uplift all of humanity and to help heal your body, mind and soul, please consider becoming a Genuine Healing Premium Content subscriber. Simply jump onto the Genuine Healing website, genuinehealing.com with a J and click on the purchase button on the top menu, scroll down, there's a premium content option, click on that, sign up. It's a simple pull monthly plan for $20 a month and you will have access to all of the premium content that we put up on the Genuine Healing website. We look forward to catching you next time and bye for now.